Hey guys, it is Coup Crochet and I am finally back with a video. So I, before I actually get into this review, which I'm really excited about, because <laughs> this is one of those reviews I was not able to do beforehand, but now I have the opportunity. So, uh, like I said, before we get into that, um, I just want to explain why I have been MIA for the last two weeks and I have a very good reason, unfortunately. Um, I was pretty sick. I mean, not like really, really, really sick, but just... Uh, I actually... Um, it started off with really bad allergies. And then it got into um, a sinus infection. And then I... I'm currently going through an ear infection because my right ear is muffled. Um, but overall, I feel so much better than before because when the allergy started, it was my my eyes were so itchy and um, I was coughing a lot. Um, surprisingly, my congestion wasn't terrible, but there was still a little bit of a congestion like just pretty mild it wasn't really bad but still um the last two weeks was really really bad for me and I just could not do any crochet whatsoever I was just um definitely the first week and a half I was in pain um especially when it came to the back of my throat when I was um so like the I had three days of post nasal drip and that was so annoying and then it irritated my throat so bad that um, it became inflamed and when I had the sinus infection it also made it worse because when I would swallow it was really it was painful so I had to take Advil like four Advils per day pretty much for a week and a half it was really really bad but I'm so glad that it's not painful anymore to swallow the only thing that's just annoying is this muffled ear I'm hoping it will go away um, in the next two three days like I'm totally over <laughs> being sick right now um, but I do feel a whole lot better which I'm really really happy about so anyways uh, let's get into this review, but that's what happened to me. I'm okay. I'm okay. So that's that's what matters. So, um, if this is your first time watching this video, I purchased this Prism Cardigan Kit from Mary Maxim. Right now, it's going for $36.99, which is a pretty decent deal. Um, they have different sizes. That you can do and I bought the small medium large and I actually made this for my mom's as my mom's birthday gift last year in November so um, when I purchased the kit it came with nine of these um, now I picked the sunset uh, prism yarn so I got nine of these to complete the kit it also came with instructions which I don't know where I placed those, so I won't be able to show you guys that, unfortunately. But I can show you the completed uh, cardigan. So, like I said, my mom has not washed this yet. She leaves this in her office because it's very cold uh, where she works. So it is a little bit wear down because you can see the fibers um sticking out because of her wearing it every time she works so this is how it looks in the front and here's the back part and i really love this color combo and i will say i did do uh this cardigan a little bit differently when it when it came to the instructions, um, I'll first talk about the neck part. So 
in the instructions, it says to put uh, these two neck panels side by side and then sew it together. But it just looked so weird to me. And I decided to just overlap it and then stitch uh, this part here like this edge of the one panel and then I I just left one of the edges free because it's stitched together on the other side so I just overlapped it because I thought it would look better that way compared to because this is no one's gonna see this part this is on the inside um, this part doesn't look bad so I I just thought that look that would look better so I did make my mom the medium size. I know I said I was gonna do the large, but I did my research on acrylic yarns because this is 100% acrylic. And I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe acrylic yarn does not shrink compared to cotton. So I decided just to go with her true size, which was medium. And, um, when she does wear it, it's it's a little bit big on her, actually. So I'm really glad that I did go with the medium size. And when it came to um, stitching uh, the other panels, um, in the instructions, you have to stitch it side by side. And I'm very picky when it comes to how things are stitched in these crochet projects because I do not like large gaps especially if you're wearing something and it stretches out I don't want to see any large holes where the seams are um, even when I make beanies I, I'm very picky and I know I mentioned this in, in my past videos I'm very picky about holes in my project so instead of sewing the panels side by side I thought it would be best if you want it to make it look professional and look nicer. What I did was I folded, like I um, reversed, so it's easier to crochet uh, when I seaming this. So um, I put the panels together and I just slip stitched right underneath, like just a little bit. So then when you put it on the right side, this is what it looks like. It's it, it's a professional look. It makes it look nicer. So, and my mom told me it doesn't bug her because, you know, there's it's a pretty big, I mean, it's not a big protruding, but um, I mean, it protrudes a little bit, but it's not enough to make her feel annoyed by it. So I did that on the shoulders and then down the arm. So down the arm. So the reason why I was able to get this back is because um, I believe it was this sleeve. It came undone, so I had to fix it for her. So that's why um, I'm able to do this video finally. But like I said, from the sleeve down on the side, I, I did it that way. Um, it just makes the cardigan look nicer that way. And you don't see gaping holes when you're when she's wearing it. Um, so I'm happy that I did that method. Now, getting into the yarn itself. Now, I have to say that when it comes to the kit itself, I did enjoy making this. Um, the instructions were pretty clear which I really love, especially um, I, with me, this is, this is actually my first clothing, finished clothing piece. And then the second one was that uh, Hobie top that I made or the using the Hobie yarn. So um, when it comes to clothing patterns, I really, it really needs to be clear and concise. I don't like to be confused because I do have quite a few uh, crochet books that has uh, like crochet clothing in it and there was one pattern I was trying to do and when I got 
done with the yolk I, when it came to the body part itself, I just could not understand what was being what was written in the book. So I, I just stopped. So I'm really happy that the instructions were clear and concise. Nothing confused me at all. Not any not. Yeah, definitely not about the back panels and front panels. I mean, everything was just clear. So that's what I loved about the kit itself. And um, now, oh, another thing is, before I forget, so in the pattern itself, another thing I did differently because I wanted to make sure my mom liked how she would want her cardigan. So I actually made the sleeves smaller because in the pattern itself, it's actually up to your wrist, like a, a traditional uh, long sleeve cardigan. Um, but my mom does not like, especially since we're in Florida, we live in Florida. If she were to wear this outside, she doesn't want to wear long sleeve. And then she's hot, like from her wrist to her whole body. So it's nice that she likes to have a short sleeve so it's not uh, too hot for her. So I, I still think it looks nice with short sleeves. So it looks nice with a short sleeve way or in the pattern long sleeve. They, it, they both look good either way. So that was the third thing I did differently in this pattern. <laughs> If you guys are a little confused why the sleeve is short, that's that's why she preferred it that way. So, okay, so getting into the yarn itself. Um, even though she has not washed this, uh, I'm kind of disappointed in, and I know this is a type of roving yarn. Um, the Mary Maxim Prism is a type of roving yarn. So... It doesn't really surprise me that the fibers, um, after her, you know, wearing it so much and taking it off, putting it on, you know, the fibers are like sticking out a lot. So it should not surprise me about that. But I personally, for me, I personally do not like that. Um, so if I would not, if I were to make a cardigan, it would not be with this yarn for me. Um, I would not mind making this for another person, but I, I would not use the prism yarn as a clothing type of yarn. Um, I would prefer to use it as a beanie, like to make beanies out of, maybe use, uh, as a blanket or even maybe a shawl, maybe, but, um, I, that's just me. That's just me. Um, because let me tell you, I'm very picky. <laughs> so if that doesn't bug you with the fibers sticking out a lot and after so, so much wear with it, then I definitely recommend this kit. Um, working with the yarn, uh, now when it comes to, of course, there is a little bit of frogging because of the it's a roving type of yarn but I didn't really have that issue because I I kept going with it there was never a point where I had to unravel the yarn at all um, so I didn't really have that much of a frogging issue but you will get a little bit of frogging issue uh, with this type of yarn so if I were to give it a rating in my opinion I would probably give it a three and a half out of five yarn balls um, one it's not accessible uh, Mary Maxim like it you have to buy this yarn online you can't feel it in store at all uh, unfortunately so I always take half a star or half a yarn ball off if it's not accessible to uh, those yarn lovers 
that would prefer to feel it before they buy it. Um, and the other what two yarn balls off. Yeah, two yarn balls off. Um, it's just mainly the frizziness of it, the, the yarn itself. Uh, that's just my opinion. Like I said, so three and a half out of five yarn balls. I mean, I prob to be honest, I probably wouldn't buy this yarn again. So whatever Mary Maxim Prism yarns I have, that's all I'm going to use. That's Unless they bring the chunky ones back, because I believe the chunky ones are uh, sold out. Because I really enjoy the chunky, the chunky yarn when it comes to beanies. But uh, the, because this is a light three, if you guys don't know, this is a number three yarn. So this is a uh, pretty skinny to work with when it comes to beanies. Uh, but it's really great for clothing. Um, if you don't mind the frizziness. So, yeah, I'm glad I was able to show you guys the complete cardigan. And my mom loves it. She uses it all the time, so I'm really happy about that. And, um, yeah, I love the colors. That's the what. That's definitely the one thing I love about the prisms is that the colorways are all so beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. So definitely, sunset is just a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. So that is my review on this uh, Mary Maxim prism. Like I said, I I'm probably not gonna buy any more of them. Uh, unless I really want to make a shawl or something, but you know what? I think that's probably the next project I'll do with them is a shawl and see how that comes out. Cause I'm, that would be really, really pretty. I can imagine that being really pretty, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And I just want to thank those who have been, uh, participating in the <coughs> voting and, um, my aunt is coming back from New Zealand this week on Friday, I believe. So I'm going to have to ask her if she's going to come back to our house around her birthday time. Because if not, I'm going to have to, I may have to give it to her earlier. Or I may have to give it to her later in March, depending on what she says. Or maybe later in February if she comes back around late February or something. But, um... Yeah, so I'm really excited about uh, giving her that mystery bag that you guys are helping me with. And I did purchase from Mary Maxim again during their 23 cent shipping um, shopping. So I my budget was like 50 bucks. I went over a dollar, which isn't too bad because uh, I did have to buy the scrubby yarns for my aunt because let me tell you guys, when I gave her those yarns uh, for Christmas last year, out of all the yarns that I gave her, she freaked over the scrubby yarns. She loves, loves scrubby yarns. She was like, oh my gosh, these are expensive. Where did you get them? And, and so forth. So um, yeah, I had to get her uh, more scrubby yarns. And I think I'm probably going to give her that other blue scrubby yarn that I took out of the pack because she really loves them. So um, I don't have any projects that I want to do with the scrubby yard as of yet. Uh, so I don't mind giving her um, that scrubby yarn back. But uh, yeah. So I that will probably be the next video is the Mary Maxim haul. But I do plan to finish. there. I've totally forgot there's some beanies that I need to finish. Just adding the... Um, faux fur on the top part so I will be doing more review videos on these yarns and um, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys